Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk about the undelete operation. So this is another DML statement, undelete. What does the name indicates is that you can undelete means you can restore all the records that you have deleted as long as they are present in the recycle bin. So using this operation, you can restore all the records if they are present in the recycle bin. And even if there are relationship which the re deleted record has, those will also be restored. So let's say when you deleted a particular customer record, the invoice records will also get deleted because there is a master detail relationship. So whenever you do the undelete operation, what will happen is if you do the undelete operation on the customer records, all the corresponding invoice records will also will get back again. So let's say we had a we had a test abc if you remember we had a record called test abc and it had the invoices but what happened was since we deleted that test abc record all the invoices also got deleted because that test abc record had the corresponding invoices and since we deleted that particular record in the previous example those invoices also got removed and all of them are present in the recycle bin Okay, so all of them are present in the recycle bin. So all the records are present inside of the recycle bin. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to go ahead and restore all the records back to the customer's table. So I wanted to go ahead and undelete everything that I did in the previous example. So how I'm going to do it, I'm going to go back to my developer console and go to the debug and open the execute anonymous window. And only tweak that I'm going to make here is so this is the records that I have deleted. This is the way I fetched all the records. So, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and undelete all the records. So how I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and write a select query. And this particular select query is going to go ahead and fetch the ID from which table? From the, in, uh, from the customer table where the customer name was like test or it started with the letter test. So where the Apex customer the name started with the letter test. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same percent wildcard, but I'm going to go ahead and use all rows. Now, what is the significance of this all rows keyword? The all rows keyword queries all rows for both top level and aggregate relationships, means including the deleted records and the archived activities. So this all rows keyword is going to go ahead and queries all the rows from the top level and the aggregate relationships, including the deleted as well as the archived activities. So this is what it's going to do. So it's going to fetch the records which are there in the recycle bin. And then all the records that it's going to fetch, I'm going to go ahead and store those records in my list. So the list is going to be of the Apex customer. And the name of the list is going to be fetch deleted customers. So this is the list. So this list contains all the records which are present, which are there in the recycle bin and uh, which starts with the letter test. And then I'm going to go ahead and say undelete this particular list. So it means whatever is there, go ahead and restore them, put it back. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this debug statement and I'll say success is a message I want you to go ahead and display. And how many elements were, how many records are fetched? So let's say I wanted to display them. So I'm going to go ahead and say size is the method that is going to dis give me the size of the list. And it'll say these many records has been restored. So let me go through the example. So what we are doing here is we are fetching the records which uh, who's uh, we are fetching the customer records where the name starts with the test and we are even taking a look at the recycle bin as well so, and whatever is there we are putting into this particular list and we call the list as fetch delete customers and then we are using this undelete operation what it is going to do it is going to go ahead and restore whatever is there in the recycle bin all the customer records which are starting with the letter test in the recycle bin, it is going to go ahead and restore them. And even if they had any relationship, so let's say that particular customer record had a three invoice records, it will also restore them as well. 
So then we're going to go ahead and display this message and it will give you the size of the records that have been restored. So let's go ahead and execute. The output of the program is the 11 records has been restored. So since we deleted the 11 records in the previous example, we are restoring all the 11 records. And the best thing you're going to see here is all the invoice records which were deleted earlier, they also got restored back. Because since the customer, this test ABC had all these invoice records with it. So these test ABC has three invoice records associated with it. Since we deleted that particular record, test ABC, it also deleted all the invoice record because there is a master detail relationship. And when we restored this customer record, it automatically restores all the invoice records corresponding to that particular customer. So this is about the undelete operation. So far, we have talked about the delete, insert, absurd, delete, uh, undelete, etc. In the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the database methods and how is it different than these DML statements. So this is about the DML statements. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.